What's up, people? Good morning, good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. I'm Carlo, and uh, today, just wanted to share a little scene with you guys that I set up right at home in my kitchen. Uh, my sister uh, ended up helping me out, and I had her just essentially eat a bowl of cereal with a cup of coffee. Um, we shot this around five o'clock in the afternoon, so we did get plenty of light through the windows, which is really nice. Uh, I also used the practicals that I had in the house, as well as a light source, which was the Falconize RX18 um, and a negative fill. Uh, so nothing too much or crazy, a very simple scene, but uh, hopefully enjoy this process of pretty much the breakdown of this little scene. All right, so for this first scene, uh, nothing crazy here. It's all natural lighting. All the practicals are off. All the lighting that I have is off. The negative fill is away. Uh, there's just nothing here but what is actually in my kitchen. So as you can see, my sister is really, really in the shadows here. Um, I wanted to expose the background properly, which meant that the subject, my sister, would be underexposed. Uh, just knowing that when I add the key light, it'll pretty much balance itself out. Uh, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is just turn on the practicals. And so as you can see here, I turned on the lamp in the back room, the office. Um, that just helped give a little bit more ambience and light in the room and just kind of separate my sister from the background a little bit more. Uh, I also turn on the light on top of the kitchen table. The specific light that I have has five tungsten light bulbs, which give off a really nice warm tone to it. Uh, so you can see there's a bit of top light that added to the top of her head, the shoulders, her arm, the table a little bit, and as well as the fruit. So this is the final scene here that I have. Uh, I set the key light, which is the Falconize RX18, with a softbox and a honeycomb attachment. I set this about 45 degrees off to the side um, and I had it pretty high up to kind of imitate the lighting from the light fixture on top of the uh, table. So I set it to about 3000 Kelvin or 3200 Kelvin, uh, which is pretty warm uh, and it kind of gives a nice little soft warmer look, which is something that I really, really like. Uh, it also gave a nice little tone to the fruit as well. It highlighted them just a little bit more. And as you can see, she's not too much in the shadows anymore. There's a good balance between the highlights and the shadow. And if you didn't notice before, on the, the chair that she's sitting on, the left-hand side, the shadow side of the arm, it got way darker just because I added a big negative fill there just to kind of create more depth and more kind of drama. So the last thing I added was haze. Um, I only put it in the back office room over here just to create a little bit more depth. Uh, to this to the image i didn't want to fill the whole entire frame with haze um, i wanted to experiment a little bit and add haze in only just a certain area i think it did its job in, as far as just overemphasizing the lighting in the background and creating some sort of atmosphere and depth So thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. I'm always down to chat a little bit. So it's at Carlos Stiggs on Instagram. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a great day. Peace.